So this week we are working on Access Module 4 and we are working on creating and editing forms. So again, whenever you download your project from Blackboard Online Classroom, please make sure that you have the grading info table listed up here on the left hand side under your tables. Um, it should have your first and last name. Again, if you do not have the grading info table listed, please go back, delete the file and go back and re-download it from the Blackboard Online Classroom because you will need that grading info table or you will not get a report. And we all know we like our reports. So you can see any mistakes you might have made and be able to make changes in that. Okay. So getting started in this one, you'll notice you have a table section, you have your form section and a report section over here on the objects on the left hand side of your access um, database. So to start working on this, we're going to be creating forms today and you should have already worked through your textbook project and this is just kind of a recap and to just go back over how to create and edit forms. So I do have notes for you. Um, and again, if you forget how the forms are set up, I do have that for you in your um, in the notes that you can refer back to. And hopefully that'll be helpful for you. Again, that your your forms in design view, you'll have two rulers in there. You'll have your horizontal ruler and your vertical ruler. You also have three sections in your form. You'll have your form header at the top. You'll have the detail section, which is basically the body of the form. And then you'll have the footer down at the bottom. So there's three different places that you can edit within the form. And then when you add um, detail or fields to your form, you'll be doing those in two different places. You see on the left hand side, you have something called the field labels. That's one section that's like the detail section where you can edit your form. And on the right hand side, you'll have a text box where you can um, edit your form in the detail section. Okay. So the left hand side is called a field label and the right hand side is a text box. So pay attention to where it's telling you to edit and make changes because it does matter if you're doing that in the field label or the text box, okay? So please refer back to the notes if you forget how to do something or if you have questions or anything like that. Um, let's see here. So let's get started in, we're going to start out with, um, creating a form or well, I guess the form's already created. We're going to be editing a form. We're going to work with our client control form and we're going to open this up in design view. And again, you have two different views. You have a layout view and a design view. And your forms are going to automatically default to open in your layout view. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if I just automatically clicked on it, this is my layout view. So this is what a form looks like, but I'm wanting to open it in my design view. So again, this is what I just showed you on the notes. You've got your header up here. Your footer is way down here at the bottom. And then your detail section is here in the middle. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be editing in in the middle section primarily. So again, it tells me um, to edit my text box. Remember the text box is over here on the right hand side. You have your field labels on the left and your text box is on the right. So if it tells you specifically to edit your text box, make sure you're in your text box and not in your field label, okay? So it says click on the paid text box. Okay, so I've clicked on this and notice how it is kind of an orange um, bold line all the way around it, a box around it. And it says resize to match 
the client name text box. So I'm just going to resize this to match the client name text box. Okay. So I'm going to do that. There we go. So now I have resized that. So I'm going to click on this close command to make it active. And I'm going to move it to the six inch mark. Whoops. Get it to where um, you have the move section, you have the little cross up there and you want the left edge of it to be on the six inch mark of your ruler, okay? So it says to move that to the six inch mark. And again, you want the left edge of it to be on the six inch mark. Um, so from form design tools up here in the controls group, okay? We're gonna select the label. This is the label section. And now I'm going to go in the form header, which is right here. And I'm going to um, by the three inch mark on the horizontal ruler right here, I'm going to type human resources. Set with three inches, type human resources. So I've done that. I'm going to save my changes and I'm going to switch to form view. And that's right here. I'm going to switch to form view. And now you can see my changes here. And I can close this form. Okay, I'm going to right click on consultant data form. I'm going to open it up in design view. And from the form design, from the form design tools, Design tab, you've got three different tabs. You've got design, arrange, and format from the design tab. In the controls group, I'm going to select the AB, which is our text box. Okay. And I'm going to position the text box so that it lines up with the other five text boxes. So again, these are our text boxes right here. So I'm going to position it so that it lines up with the other five text boxes. So it has lined up with them now. And I'm going to type the word reside inside the text box. So just make sure that it is lined up under salary. So we're going to click on the text box over here and we're going to move it we're going to delete the reside label so i'm going to delete that label and i think i moved this up just want to make sure that's lined up. Whoops. 
on that back up. I just wanted to highlight this and delete. Okay. So now I am all lined up there. Okay. I'm going to save this and I'm going to close my form. All right. The next one in the navigation pane, select the client table. Over here, I'm gonna select the client table. I'm gonna highlight it, but I'm not gonna open it. So now I'm gonna go up to the create tab in the forms group. I'm getting ready to um, create a form in the forms group, and I'm gonna use the form wizard. So it told me to use and um, create a form wizard based on the client table. If you get a message that says a potential security concern has been identified, you can just ignore that message. Um, sometimes that comes up, like I said before on when you're using access and um, don't worry about it. It's not a hazard or security concern. It just often comes up when you're using access. It's not anything to worry about. There's nothing hazardous on that or security issues. It's okay, you can just proceed. You can just ignore that message. Okay, so make sure that you have the table client showing under tables and queries, and you should, if you have highlighted client over here, if you did not do that, you'll use the drop down arrow here and select client. Okay. And next, you need to select which fields you want to select. Now, if we were just going to choose a couple of fields, you could move them over by selecting the right carrot, just the one little arrow here. But since we want all of the fields to be moved over into our selected fields for this form, we're gonna use the double arrow, okay? And it selects all of our fields. Now we can choose next. We want this to be columnar. Again, you want your, your form name to make sense. We want it to, um, to make sense with, with what our, our name is. So we're naming this client entry. We don't want spaces in it. We're using camel casing here. Um, you, could, you can use characters in there, but you don't want a space in it. Same as we've been doing in the rest of our access um, as we've been learning just no spaces you always want to have a character in there and then um we just want to usually we're going to go with the um we're going to open the form or when we're done creating it and just click finish so it's automatically going to open client entry and this is gonna come up under our form, okay? All right. So now our client entry is open from our home tab up here in our views group. We are gonna select layout view, which it should automatically be in layout view, but we just wanna make sure that it's in layout view, okay? So 
So now that we've created this client entry um, form, we have, and we are in layout view, we have our form layout tools um, table up here, um, our, our view up here at the top, we have this tab. So we have design, arrange, and format. So under the form layout tools format tab, we are gonna go to the font group. It's the first thing we're gonna be working in. We're gonna select all five of our text boxes. And remember, This is our detail section over here. Okay. So here is our detail section over here, our field list. So we're gonna select all five of these. And um, when we're in our layout group, we have this field list section that automatically pops up when we go to the layout view. And if we want to modify all of these at one time, um, like we're going to be formatting the font and everything, you can just select them all over here in our field list. So we're going to select all five of these in our field list detail section over here on the right hand side because again, we are in layout view. I'm just trying to show you a few different ways that you can edit your forms. So select all of these. And I held down shift to select all of them. I'm gonna go up here again to the form layout tools format group in my font group over here. And I'm gonna go to um, the right align align right. So this will align them right. I'm also going to choose bold. Okay, so I aligned right and I choose bold. And that will do this for all of my field names in this. And this is from my layout um, view. I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to go over to my home. I'm going to view this in form view. Okay. So I'm back to form view. So now at the bottom of the page, I've got records one to 15. So if I want to go to a specific record, I can choose what record I want to. If it wants me to go to record nine, I can just select record nine and press enter and it will take me to record nine of 15. Okay. Um, this will get me to record nine instead of having to scroll through manually by clicking the next record arrow. I just change that 15 to nine or one to nine there. So the balance, I need to change the balance here from zero to 25,000. So I'm just gonna change this. Okay. And I'm gonna press enter. So it changed that to 25,000. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and save this just to be safe here. At the bottom of the page, I'm gonna press um, my last record. So it's got the right, I mean, it's not the next record, but it's this one. It has the uh, right arrow with the straight line that's going to take me to the very last record and it'll say 15 of 15. That'll tell me how to get to the end of the records. 
Now to get to a brand new record, I'm gonna click next. This gives me 16 of 16 and it's blank. So I'm at a brand new record. So now I'm gonna enter my new info here. And um, again, this is number six and I'm entering my client ID as 16. My client name is gonna be, hopefully I'm spelling this right, A-N-T-R-A-D-Z. Interest though, I'm gonna put in paid 25,000. Press enter and my balance is zero. I'm gonna go ahead and save this just to be safe. And I'm gonna close the form, okay? I'm gonna right click on consultant salary, which is right here. I'm gonna open this up in design view. I'm gonna select my, um, human resources label up here in my form header, the one that we created a few minutes ago, and I'm gonna delete this, okay? So from the form design tools, design tab in the tools group, which is way over here to the far right, I'm going to select add existing fields, which should already be open for you over here to the right. If it's not, you'll select add existing fields. I'm going to choose start date. And I've got to move this start date under salary. So I'm going to move it there. I'm just going to line it up with salary. Okay. So I'm making sure both of these are lined up with both of the salaries. Okay. So that looks pretty good there. The label in the text box. Then I'm going to um, rename the salary label. And again, my label is on the left-hand side. I'm gonna rename the salary label to current salary. Under the form header up here at the top, I'm going to rename consultant salary and I'm going to put a space. I'm renaming this to consultant salary with a space. And notice when I double clicked on this, I got a whole other set of options over here. This is called my property sheet where you can make all kinds of options in this, okay? So I'm gonna click out of this box, okay? Just to make sure that it kind of saved that. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna close this form. Okay, and close out of that and close the form. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the country table. Again, I'm in the tables object up here. I'm just gonna highlight it. I'm not opening it. 
And in my navigation pane, or up here in my, ta my tabs, I'm gonna go up to my create tab. In my reports group, I'm doing a report now. So we've been creating forms and now I'm gonna show you how to create a report off of this. So from the create tab in the reports group, we're just gonna select report. Okay, so we just created a report based on country and it goes under here, um, underneath the report or it will in just a minute. And so it's called report layout tools design tab opens up because I've created or I'm in the process of creating a new um, country report. So when I click save, I get the option to name this and I want to name it country list. I'm camel casing again. Again, that's list with a capital L, no spacing or anything like that. I'm going to click OK. And now when I did that, it's going to show up down here in the report object. Um, I'm going to click my views um, I'm going to make sure that this is my layout view, which it should be, but I just wanted to make sure I'm in my layout view over here. I'm going to click on my country label up here. And this is in my report header up here at the top. I'm going to change the name to country report and I'm gonna press enter. Let me make sure if that has a space or not. Didn't make very good notes on that one. Yes, it does have a space in it in our directions. Okay. I'm gonna press enter to get kind of out of that box there. I'm gonna click save. I'm not gonna close this yet. Make sure you're still in layout view. This is in number nine. Which you should be, but you can just double check, make sure you're in layout view from the view section. Um, select your country code label. And again, this is the label section over here, but country code label. Instead of country code, we're just gonna change the name of that to code. We're gonna just gonna change that to code. Press enter to save the change or to make the change. Um, we are going to resize the box. Okay, we're gonna resize this box down here with number 13 at the bottom. We're just gonna resize it so we can kind of see the number 13 down here at the bottom. Cause you couldn't really see it, it was kind of cut off. So just kind of resize this box so that you can see the number 13 down here. And now we're just gonna save this, make sure it's saved and then close it out. Okay. Next, we're going up to the project table up here. Don't open it, just highlight it. We're going to the Create tab. We're going to the Report group, and we're gonna use the Report Wizard this time, okay? Um, under Tables and Queries, you should have, the project should be showing here since we have the project selected over here. If it's not, select the down arrow and go find the table project because that's what we're basing this report off of, okay? 
Um, let's see. We're going to select description. We're going to select months. And again, we just selected them one at a time because those are the fields I want to use. And that is the order that I want to use them. I don't want ID to be back in there. I don't want ID in this. I'm going back up to my tables and queries because I want to add another table to this. So from this, I'm going to select my table consultant from the drop down box. And from this, I'm going to choose last name. So I've got description and months from my project table. And from my consultant table, I'm choosing last name. So I'm going to click next. Those are the only three fields I want to use in this report. And now it asks me, how do you want to view your data? Do you want to view it by project or by consultant? And it told me in the directions that we want to view it by consultant. So we want to view this by description, months, and then last name, okay? So we're doing the consultant and we'll click next. And do we want to add any grouping levels? So for this, we're gonna add last name up here. Okay, so this is gonna show up and we're gonna click next because we just wanted last name to be chosen on that. And again, you're just following the directions that it's given you over here. Now you're gonna select the description, okay? So this is the detail that you want in here. So in number one, you're gonna select from the down arrow, you're gonna select description. Make sure that ascending order is selected. That's the only one you have to select here. You're gonna click next. Under the layout, it's gonna be stepped. That's gonna be the default, unless it tells you another layout, that's the one you're gonna choose. Just make sure you read through um, the directions on it. Orientation is gonna be portrait, unless it tells you otherwise, that's gonna be the default on this. Go ahead and click next. And what title do you want for your report? We're gonna name this, instead of consultant one, we're gonna name it projects by consultant. And you guessed it, it's gonna be camel casing. Projects by consultant. We want to preview the report. So most of these are the default, is what it's wanting us to do. And we're just gonna finish. So this comes up projects by consultant. It's a new report. So it's gonna show down here in our report group. So we can see our report and we're just gonna close this out. Okay. So that is how you create a report based on two different tables. Let's right click on the consultants by project. We're gonna select layout view on number 11 now. From the form, form layout tools, design tab in the tools group, which is over here to the right hand side. I'm gonna select the property sheet. Okay, so this property sheet is gonna come up over here. And again, this is gonna give me all kinds of options. If it's selected, it's gonna to default to all, but you can choose format, data, event, other. I mean, all kinds of options are gonna come up over here to how I can um, format this. 
I'm going to go down and I'm going to find the border style. Okay, is what I'm looking for. So it's about halfway down over here and the border style says solid. I'm going to change solid and again it has this little toggle key that I can choose from a drop down menu. I'm going to change that from solid to transparent. And I'm going to also um, Okay, that's all I'm going to change over here in my property sheet, but I'm going to go up here to my global human resources consultant and label up here at, in the header section. And so I'm selecting this and so this is going to come up on my property sheet over here. So I'm selecting this. This shows my property sheet for it on the font size, which is about halfway down on this, I'm going to change the font from 22 to 20. So I'm going to change that from 22 to 20. So it changes the font size of this. Okay, so I've done made two changes using my property sheet. So again, that's in the form layout tools design tab under the tools section. That's how you get to property sheets. So you can make changes to just about everything in your um, sheet and layout view using this property sheet over here. And you don't have to worry about going to try to find it up here in your, um, in your toolbar at the top. You can just make all these changes over here to the right hand side. It makes it very convenient, very easy to do all that. So now that I've made those changes, I'm just gonna save this and close it out. I'm gonna close my property sheet, make sure that's saved and then close out this form. I'm going to now go to my consultant report. So under reports, I'm going to go to consultant. I'm going to go to the design view. I'm going to select the salary text box. Okay, so I've got a couple of different places here. And remember the text box is gonna be showing up in just um, white. It's not gonna have any of the dotted lines around it. It's not gonna be in the header section. My text box is gonna be in my detail section and it's gonna just have um, just a plain white box. This is gonna be a text box here. Again, it's in the detail section and it's gonna be on the right-hand side. That is your text box. So I'm selecting the salary text box in the detail section. So from the report design tools format section, or from the format report design tools format tab in the conditional formatting group, I'm gonna select conditional formatting. Okay. it's going to show formatting rules for salary because that is the text box that I had selected. Okay. I'm going to click on a new rule because I want to add a new rule here. My field value is equal to field value is equal to 71,000. Again, no punctuation. 71000. I'm going to set my font color to red. So go down here to font color. I'm going to set it to red. And then I'm going to add bold font. I'm going to choose OK. And I'm going to do OK again. So value equals 71,000. It's bold and in red is my format. I'm going to do OK again. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to, I'm going to close this out. Oh, OK, I'll leave that open. My consultant report is still open. And I'm still in design view here. I'm going to select the label 
in the report header. So again, this is my label that's in my report header. I only have one label to choose from. It's called um, Consultant Salary Report. From the report, Design Tools Format tab, which is right here, in the font group, I'm going to select the font color, which is this. And under standard colors, I'm going to select dark blue. And so on mine, it's going to be the, the fourth one on the top row. So just make sure you hover over them until you see dark blue. So I'm changing consultant salary report to dark blue. I'm going to save this just to make sure that that saved that change. So now I'm going to the home tab in my views group. I'm going to select view to my um, report view just to make sure that that made the change and it did. I've got consult consultant salary report is in blue now. Um, so it saved that, so I'm gonna close this out now. And I'm gonna right click consultant start date form. So under forms, I'm going to consultant start date I'm going to right click this and open it up in design view. Um, if you click in the header section, it's going to select the entire form. So click on, if you click form header, it will select the entire form. Okay, so I'm clicking on form header. So form header, it's gonna select the entire form. I'm gonna move to the right hand side till I get to about six and a half right here on my ruler. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to select the entire form. Oh, okay, I'm moving consultant start date to is that what I'm doing. To six and a half. Okay, I'm moving consultant start date to six and a half there. I mean, double check that. Sorry, my notes again. Sometimes I don't make myself the best notes. Oh no, I'm sorry. I was resizing the form. Let's do this again. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I clicked in form header and that selected the form. And then I'm just moving. I went to the right hand side to select the form and I'm going over until I get to six and a half on my ruler. So that resized my entire form to six and a half. Okay, so that was the goal there. I'm gonna select the consultant start date um, form header up here. From the format tools design tab. Oh, I'm sorry, format tools format tab. In the selection group, which is the first one over here. I 
think I go to font group. I'm going to select my, I've already selected that, so I don't have to go there. So I'm going under the font group. I'm sorry, format tools, format tab under the font group. I'm going to select my background color. Background color is the little paint bucket. From standard colors, I'm going to select um, light blue three. There's light blue, light blue two, light blue three. So it's about halfway down on that. So just hover over them until you find the correct. So I changed this to light blue three on the form header. Okay. So make sure your form header is still selected. If it's not, select it again. In the font group, again, format tools, you know, format design tools, format, and font group. We're going to change the font to Georgia. So scroll down until you get to Georgia. There we go, Georgia. I'm gonna save this, let me click out of it. Save and close. A lot of little tedious things there. Okay, almost finished with this. Right click in the project landscape report. So project landscape. Project Landscape Report, and we're selecting um, Layout View. Okay, from the Report Layout Tools Design tab in, in the Themes group, which is the second option over here, we're gonna select Fonts. Okay, we're going to Georgia. Again, over here. So I'm scrolling down till I find Georgia, which I found that. Whoops, let me back it. I think I was supposed to select. Oh, wait. Okay, let me try this again. We're going down to Georgia. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to apply. So I right click in Georgia to get these other options and I'm going to apply font schemes to this object only. So it's the second object. So it's only going to apply to this object. So it's only going to do it to this object. If you just choose Georgia, it's going to apply to all of them. Okay, so we only want to change it to this object only. So you're going to miss that and it's going to count off for you. You're going to have to go back and change that if you don't do it correctly. So all right, um, let's go ahead and save that and close it out. And then let's right click in the consultant resides report. We're gonna open this in layout view. From the report layout tools, we're going to the page setup, which is the last option up there. Page setup tab in the page layout group, which is right here, we're gonna select portrait because it's automatically landscape. So we're just changing it to our portrait view. So we're going over to the Rasad um, column here. 
So we're gonna hold down Control and Shift while we're selecting Rasad. When we do that, it's gonna select all of our columns. So again, I clicked on Control, Shift, while I clicked on Rasad, and it selected all of our columns here. So now I wanna drag Let's try that again. Let me click out of that. to drag this entire column, but it selected all of them. I'm trying just to select this one column. Um, so I'm trying to move aside to the left between consultant ID and last name. So I don't wanna just move that, I wanna move the whole column. So let's try this one more time. I wanna hold down control shift and then click inside there. Um, get out of that for a second. Let me just change my view real quick. Okay. I don't know if that's, it's not doing what I want it to do. See, that just moved my name. Well. I want to get this right for y'all. <laughs> so I can make sure I show you correctly how to select this. Call. Oh, there we go. So what I did was I selected Control Shift. Okay, let's do that again. So I selected in the column, I, I clicked in USA, that very first item to select the entire column. And then I went up and clicked on control shift and clicked on reside as well. So now I've got the entire reside column selected. And now I've got my little cross area selected and I can move it over. And you see the little bold um, orange, orangey yellow line there. And um, it moved the entire column. So again, I clicked in USA first to highlight the column. And then I held down control shift and I clicked on her side. And then when I get that cross, the you know, four arrows in the cross, I can move. And it turns, it highlights the reside and the USA, the first item in the column. And that allows me to move to where I want to move it. So I wanted to move that between consultant ID and last name for that. I just it took me a second to recall how to do that. Okay, going up here to save and then I can close this out. I believe this is our last item in access module. So I'm going to right click and client fees form. I'm going to um, open it up in design view and I'm going to select the date and time in our text boxes. And again, our text boxes are over here in the right-hand side. And do you see 
the date and time over here to the right hand side. So they're in the very right hand corner up here at the right. So I'm just going to delete both of those and I can hold down shift to select both and just make sure that orange line is around both of them. And I'm just going to delete those to kind of get those out of the way. Um, from the form design tools, design box or design tab in the themes group, which is the second option over here. I'm going to select theme. Um, I'm going to right click office. So there's office. office. Oh, there's a bunch of offices. Oh, that's office. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to right click office and apply theme to this object only. So right click it to apply to this object only. Otherwise, you're going to apply it to all the different items in there. I'm going to save this. I'm going to close it. Make sure all of your objects are closed up here. Go to file. Make sure to compact and repair first. And then you're ready to save file and save as. Save it wherever you'd like to using the little disk. And you're all finished with access. I hope that was helpful for you. And I hope you enjoyed learning about access. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon.